a president is impeachable if he attempts to subvert the Constitution. Good evening. It was almost two years ago, in June 1972, that five men broke into the Democratic National Committee headquarters in Washington. It turned out that they were connected with my re-election committee. My faith in the Constitution is whole, it is complete, it is total. And I am not going to sit here and be an idle spectator to the diminution, the subversion, the destruction of the Constitution. Monopoly media love to give us binary options, fight for racial and gender justice on the one side, or get into the constitutional fight to impeach the president on the other. As black feminisms taught us, it's a false choice. Change who's in power, and you can change how power is used. 20 years ago, we changed the whole tone of the nation after Watergate abuses. We did that 20 years ago. We know how to change. Congressman Sheila Jackson Lee from Texas's 18th. 18th district, historic, the district that Barbara Jordan held. Um, great mentor and friend. What would she say about this moment? What do you say about this moment? Well, her voice would be so booming. She'd say, get up and just do it. Barbara Jordan said, we the people, when she began her remarks in that final day of votes with Richard Milhouse Nixon. We the people, it's a very eloquent beginning. But when that document was completed on the 17th of September in 1787, I was not included in that we the people. I felt somehow for many years that George Washington and Alexander Hamilton just left me out by mistake. But through the process of amendment, interpretation and court decision, I have finally been included and we the people. You are now playing a critical role in the impeachment era, mm. put it that way, of the current president. Arise in support of HRS 660, a resolution establishing procedures for the impeachment of the president. I do it with a heavy heart. But today we choose our beloved nation over individual self-interest and political party. How do you see that work in the context of the larger struggle that you're talking about, that to many people feel super urgent and they wonder if impeachment is a distraction? It can never be a distraction if the acts that are under review go at the very core of this document that most people never draw out. That Constitution silently guides us. And to let it be extinguished, made a mockery of, is a dismantling of America. America's a gift, not to me, but to those who are following. And if the president says that my life goals, my success, my campaign, my lowly campaign is greater than my duty to the American people, and it is clearly illegal and a violation, then that Constitution has to stand like a siren and speak truth to power.